Hey, amazing people. I trust that you all are doing well. I'm Adia Matthew and it's such, 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 such a joy for me to be here. Today, we are going to be talking about one of the most sought after topics and the same time debated topics of Christianity. Is faith essential to healing? Now, let's just take note that before making a lot of escalation in our theologies, it's very vital that we get our basics right, especially when it comes upon or comes to the character of God. Is faith really essential to healing? And if yes, whose faith? Is it the faith of the one who's praying or is it the faith of the one who's being prayed for? Um, right off the bat, I want to get into the scripture. Exodus in 1526 says that I am the God who heals you. These are words proceeding out of the mouth of God himself. Um, and also, consequently, it is said he is Jehovah Rapha which means I am the God who heals you. Now take note that I am the God who heals you is present continuous tense. It's not just past tense. It's not just present or not just future tense. It's present continuous tense, which means he is the God who has been healing people. He is the God who is healing people. And he is the God who will continue to heal people until the end of age. Above all, let's understand the fact that if Jesus had to pick and choose whom to really heal, why would he have to go on the cross when we were still sinners? We had got nothing right. All of our ducks was outside the row, right? So at that point in time, if he chooses, being the son of God, chooses to die for a tribe so unworthy, um, that tells me that um, I'm sure that God from his side is not having certain restrictions that I won't heal you, I won't heal you. No, he's ready to heal everybody and he, his word proves to us. And let's go further and understand how is his word really proving that God wants to heal everybody. Now, let's be fully convinced that is it the will of God to heal everybody? And if it's the will of God to heal everybody, what is the procedure? of God healing people. Now I've heard many people say that when somebody falls sick, oh, it must be God's way of teaching you humility. Oh, it must be God's way to put you in character. But my question is that if it's God's way to give sickness in order to bear the fruits of the spirit, then I really don't understand how that the fruit of the spirit is really going to last because Sickness is not something that could be given by the author of life. Because if God is the author of life, he cannot co-author death. And if he's going to play a dual role in authoring life and authoring death simultaneously, then I don't really know which God are we worshipping. And I don't want to worship this God, to be really honest. But as far as what I know, God being experientially and according to what his word tells me is that he is the author of life and if he is the author of life he by no means can inflict sickness in order to bear any fruit of the spirit or to teach you character even for that matter um, isn't that exciting let's move further now one may ask one may just look and ask that Adya do you want me to have faith like isn't your faith adequate enough for my healing now let's understand that there are exceptions in the word of God and there are many exceptions where Jesus had the faith and the person in front did not necessarily do anything to get healed, but still they got healed. But an exception cannot be the rule. Let's never forget that. Hebrews 11.6 says that we walk by faith and not by sight. Now we want to pitch in the most important aspect to healing, faith. Um, Hebrews 11.6 is my favorite verse for many reasons. It says that without faith, it's impossible to please God. And whoever comes to God must believe that he is. He is what? He is your healer. He is your restorer. He is your deliverer. And he's, he's that one which makes everything right. And if he is that one, and if you believe that he is that one, he is your reward. And what will he really reward you with? He will reward you with first himself and in, in that himself comes healing, restoration, multiplication and everything that is according to life and godliness, right? So everyone that comes to him must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of all those that diligently seek him. Now having faith cannot be having faith in nothing. You're not having faith in hair, air, 
how are we really talking about faith here there is another scripture which is my personal favorite is that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god now let us understand that faith is like a seed it grows over time and what is really that seed what is the substance of that seed when the word of god is heard constantly that seed is being germinated every time you hear just like we put a seed and water and the sunlight and then the laws of nature brings the increase similarly when we hear the word of god every time that seed of the promise of the word of god is actually being reared inside of you and when the fruits and the flowers and the branches really arise that's when another person looks and says that hey listen this person is actually reaping life right um let's go on to the fact let's go on the word and really check that what are the cases where god really healed people where faith was seen in terms of actions and what are the cases where god healed people where nothing was really happening um let us understand that we have nothing over overpowering us because christ died and if christ died it's so that we would be overcomers overcome us to diseases overcome us to ailments overcome us to any problem that would come and stand in front of us to talk us out of destiny um let's just see which are the places where god actually healed people faith can be seen jesus saw in many cases the actions that people did who were um, assumably or presumably or seemingly sick uh for example the paralytic whose friends or the one with palsy the friends actually came lowered the paralytic man from the roof now that itself cannot be done by somebody who has absolutely no hopes because it was a crowded house and it definitely is a huge huge leap of faith for anybody to have done that and god immediately saw that and jesus um uh, extended his arms and healed him faith is honored now the woman who sought mercy from the lord for her daughter who was vexed with a demon he immediately said that i give unto you because your faith has actually really pleased me so i'm going to i'm going to give my word from here and your daughter is going to be healed likewise the woman with the issue of blood she did not say anything much but her act of just stretching out and taking hold of the garment of christ was enough to explain that she believed in christ the blind man who screamed son of david if you're willing heal me please he again screamed when he could not even see he knew that god had the ability and likewise there are also many people who were healed without a great exhibition of any action of faith like the man by the pool of bethesda you can go and read the story it's really really inspiring um but it's also said in many places that there are or it said in one place that jesus could not do any mighty works in his own hometown because of their unbelief um so that can also indirectly tell us that the faith of the person is very important because you might have the faith that god can heal you but if you're completely shut down to the fact that god has the ability to heal you're not going to receive that healing or might as well that he that, that, that sickness may just relapse on you there are cases where that happens that you know god has actually healed a person but that person is not really really ready to receive that healing in the spirit either because it's too unbelievable or because maybe they just just don't trust enough um and that sickness might have just relapsed there are many situations where that would have happened um finally i want to close with this um individual faith is very important the faith of the person in front of you definitely works great but um nobody gives an account of your salvation you are answerable answerable for confessing your sins you are answerable um for your salvation likewise if you need healing you are the one who are to ask because anyone that asks receives he that seeketh finds he that knocks the door shall be opened so the promises of god is no respecter of any individuals the promises of god are yes and amen no matter how many they are and it's going to be the same for every single person 
whether converted or not because his faith his word stands by his character and he is integrous and so is his word so lastly i would like to say nothing impresses god more than faith yes my dears nothing impresses god as much as faith does because faith is the persistent knowledge of the fact that god has the ability to see us through this and faith is not wavering faith is not shaky faith doesn't tremble faith doesn't doubt after claiming faith just says that i know my god can do this and he will do this and he has done this and this is what impresses god and this is what gives you everything that you seek ask and ask and knock and above all this is what that heals you i pray that this word becomes life in your bones let's just pray father i thank you lord for the one who's watching i thank you lord that they've not come here by accident and that they've come here by complete plan father i thank you lord jesus that you're putting in them the seed of faith that whatever is the circumstance whether or not they have the faith enough to see themselves through the circumstance or whether or not they have the faith and the trust in you that you can heal them deliver them restore them lord i pray that that faith that that seed would be put right now lord lord through this little word i pray lord if that 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 seed can go right inside their heart lord and that you would bring the increase in their life by rearing it with the word of god and through the water of your spirit so be it lord father i pray lord jesus that whatever it is that they're facing lord they would they will come out as victors because your word makes us victorious people i thank you father lord that you're a god who gave your only begotten son so that we would live free from sin lord free from anything that keeps us from getting completely restored in jesus mighty name i make this prayer amen god bless you